Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cataract with very weak genule. We will see that in a short time. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now, a side port is being made on the left side of the main incision. The pupil is mid dilated, and I hope the surgery can be completed without using any pupil expansion device. An air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Then tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The tripan blue dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule. The dye is washed out to get uniform anterior chamber. Antichamber with density of dye uniform density of dye all around. The antechamber is filled up with visco and now capsulorexis is to be done. As I try to make a puncture on the anterior capsule, the whole nucleus moves. And this indicates weak jonule. In this case, I am thinking of supporting the lens mass with a hook and then do the rexis. So, I come out, inject some visco. Now, as I hold the tag, capsular tag, I support the lens mass with the Sinsky hook and make the lens mass stable and complete the rexis. A nice round rexis of 5.5 millimeter has been done. And now, hydro dissection is done at multiple points with PSS. The nucleus is tapped gently. And now, in this cases, the rotation should be bimanual. Rotation with only one hook causes more genular stress. Rotation with two hooks is fine, genular friendly. Both clockwise and anticlockwise, the nucleus has been rotated several times. And now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. The exposed part of the FECO needle is little more than in other cases. I enter into the anterior chamber with bevel down, aspirate some cortex, and now submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. Now, we must not push the nucleus. The nuclear position should be same. The fecconid will cut the matter in front and move. Very nice crack has been obtained. Now, rotate 180 degree, come to the other side, go to a deeper plane, support on heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely. And now, I am going to divide this heminucleus, go to the belly of the inner edge and divide this. And now, I came out inject visco. The two fragments are not free. There is a band joining the two fragments. So, I go behind the band and with another Sinsky hook, there is another band. I have torn on band, this is another one. When the two bands are torn, the two nuclear pieces are free. 
And now I go again with the hand piece and start emulsifying this piece from the apex. And now this nuclear piece is emulsified at this time and from the beginning the setting is as follows. Ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Two pieces has been removed that means on heminucleus has been removed. Now I inject visco use two hooks and place the piece orient the piece in such a way that I get the inner edge of the seminucleus easily. And now I go through the heminucleus from the central part and jaw. There is again some joining between the two pieces. At this time I applied some ultrasound and made these two pieces free. This is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time, ultrasonic energy is 60 percent, flow rate is 35 and vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury and the nucleus has been nicely removed. And now is the most crucial part, the removal of the cortex which is firmly attached to the weak, to the capsule. Whenever the jonule is weak, we have to see what we are pulling. Whether we are pulling only the cortex or the capsular bag is coming along with it. Yes, I find the rexis margin. So, this is the cortex that has come out. And now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Yes, cortical cleanup has been very satisfactory. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Let us see what kind of lens is this. Before implanting the lens, I am filling out the anterior chamber and capsular bag with visco because the pupil has become small. I enlarge the main wound by point on or two millimeter so that the size of the main wound, width of the main wound is now about three millimeter. And this is a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The trailing haptic has not gone into the capsular bag. I take an oil hook and place it in the bag. This is a hydrophobic lens, hydrophobic acrylic lens and now the people has almost shut down but does not matter, we had completed the case almost. 
And now I irrigate the anterior chamber, irrigate the capsular bag and irrigate and aspirate for some time. And now I use the irrigation aspiration cannuli. I have only one side port. There was iris prolapse. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with PSS. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. And now, I have to check the intraocular pressure. The intraocular pressure is on the lower side. So, I inject some more fluid through the side port in this way. Only one flow goes into the anterior chamber. And now, the IOP on the, is on the higher side, eyeball is firm and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.